Hey everyone, Keith Locke here. In this video, I'm going to quickly go through how to use the the form builder add-on for WPE member um, to create a to create registration profile forms um, with with custom fields and with a more advanced user interface than what you would get with WP member by default. Now, WP member naturally has to be installed first before this add-on it gets installed and this add-on installs just like any other plugin upload it activate it <clears throat> excuse me but immediately after activation the registration form on the website um, is no no longer available because now it's looking to the form builder add-on for for a form so we have to quickly create one here and i'll go through that process here click on new form you can give it a name up here and specify the membership level that it's going to be used for. Now, if you want to use just one one form um, for all membership levels, generic would be the option you choose. Otherwise, if you're creating specific forms for each membership level, you would, you could choose a membership level there and then create multiple forms that way. In this case, I'm just going to choose generic so that it shows up regardless of the membership level. And we'll go through some of the forms. These are the default fields that will, that will show up. And of course, there's a field set submit button. And these are required fields, standard fields. Um, I'll go through some of the properties of a couple of these in a minute, but I just want to go through the different form settings that there are. So you can choose, um, there's general settings for different layouts. And then confirmation. So if you want to just, um, if you want after registration, uh, you can you can specify like whether just a, a generic message shows up, or you can redirect to an existing page that exists on your blog, or you can redirect to a different URL. And this is the su success message um, for the profile form right there. Okay, and then and if this is if you want to send a uh, confirmation email to the user, you just select that box there. And by default, it's unchecked for each new form. All right, and a field set just basically encapsulates a, several fields, a set of fields, um, just like it sounds. And you can decide what it says um, depending on whether it's registration form or the profile form that it that it's being used at on. All right, so then you can you can choose. Uh, we'll go through the different options, but here I just want to show you a couple of fields um, for username. It's cho uh, it's selected so that during the registration. It's a required field. Um, we uh, we can't override that because naturally we want them to be able to create a username. And now we can choose whether or not they can modify that username on the profile form as well. And these are different options where we can choose whether or not um, the field that they're currently editing is is read only, so they're actually unable to edit it. Just view the data that exists within it, and then we can specify whether only the admin can view that um, that data in that field. And again, um, we always have the option to choose the label, how it shows up in the registration form and in the edit profile form. And the description will show up underneath the text box. So if there, if you need a little bit more um, information about the field to help users understand what the data is about, um, you can you can write a one line state, one or two line statement um, description that shows up underneath the actual field on the form. And there's different layout options and size options that you can specify here and whether or not the field is required. I'll show you what validation is in a sec. It makes more sense uh, when you're looking at email, for example. So validation, um, you can choose whether or not you want the program to make sure that the user enters a valid format for whatever it is they're typing in. So in this case, when you're asking for email, it makes sense to, to validate that email. So you could choose a validation option there. A lot of times, most most of the time, it'll be none. But in many cases, um, you'll, you'll choose a validation option. It depends on the field type that you're adding. And one of the really um, interesting things about this uh, interface is just the drag and drop. So you can specify exactly where um, each field goes. It's very simple, uh, very intuitive just a simple drag and drop um, system here so uh, here's some default fields that you can drag and drop these are just some standard um, fields that can be included in the form but this is where it gets interesting where you can add custom fields just 
choose the custom tab up top and then you can drag uh, you can click on any of these options here and then it'll show up in the form. So I'll show you how the checkbox works. Just click on it, it shows up at the bottom. And again, we can drag that anywhere we want. And just like any other one, we have a choice whether it shows up in the registration form, profile form, or both, whether it's read only or whether or not only the admin can see the data that exists within there. All right, so. And then you choose the label for the registration form and the profile form, whether or not you want to include a description that shows up there. And you can select which ones are um, checked by default. And if you want to remove any, just click on the delete option here. If you want to add any additional ones, you just click on the plus sign. And there's no validation that would could potentially exist with a checkbox, so it doesn't make sense to be able to select anything there and then there's different layout options for the checkbox. And radio and select also give you the options to, uh, the user options to make choices, um, generally a single choice. It's just the layout is different for those. And if you want have a particular field set that you really need to um, give specific instructions on, then there's the instructions custom fields here that you can add um, HTML in there to give them a really good indication of what um, th th this form is about, if that's necessary for your particular form. All right, so as you can see, it's very flexible. We have a variety of different options, and we can choose the layout, the exact layout, and which um, fields show up where. All right, when complete, you just click on Save Form. So as you can see, the registration form no longer exists only because I called this page immediately after activating the form builder add-on. And so then the plugin was looking to the form builder add-on for the form. So it didn't exist at the time. So now when I click on refresh, the form will show up. And since this is the registration form on the registration page, it uses that, that heading which is what we specified in here. So the field set. So that's uh, that determines what the title is of the actual form. And this is the label that once that shows up in the on the registration form. So I'm going to change that so you can just see the changes that exist on the website here. I click on refresh. So now it changes to based on what I specified there. And I drag the membership level to the top, and that's a read-only field. Username, email, email has some validation, and these are the different options that were chosen. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility with this um, the form builder add-on for WP member. Very intuitive, simple to use, robust. Um, it's great for adding custom fields uh, with a lot of flexibility. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.